what do you think? Will it work for our tea party? <laughs> oh, oh, wow. that's a great <laughs> idea. Beautiful, Cherry. Just beautiful. Perfect music for an elegant tea party. <laughs> Thanks. But the important thing is the pups seem to like it. After all, this tea party is to celebrate the opening of their dog park. Aww. Okay, the music is covered. What else do we need to get ready? Um, what about snacks and treats? Strawberry? I thought we'd have finger sandwiches. Ooh! Fruit. Ah! And pup-shaped pastries. Oh! <gasps> no, Pupcake, that's for us. You'll get doggy treats at the tea party. And girls, for dessert. Oh! Next is Lemon, in charge of the decoration committee. Well, Blueberry and I thought an ice sculpture would be nice. Oh! Wow! wow. 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 Oh. Thank you, thank you. And we thought streamers would make the dog park look nice. <laughs> yeah! Oh, very nice! Great! And for the evening, the Barricans made us these lanterns. Oh, Strawberry, could you get the lights, please? Oh! Wow. Amazing! This is going to be a very beautiful tea party. There's only one thing missing. The designs for our dresses. <gasps> yeah, where's Raspberry? She said she'd have them ready. <laughs> sorry I'm late! Sorry, sorry, I'm late! <laughs> Here, got it. Okay. <laughs> Easy now. <laughs> Sorry. Silly me. I didn't see where I was going. <sighs> well, since this is a formal tea party, I kind of, well, thought we'd all wear... something like this. Oh, Whoa. Raspberry. <gasps> raspberry. That's beautiful. You think so? Oh, yeah. Yeah. The raspberry? Well, thanks. <laughs> I'm still working on our hats, but they'll be ready in time for the tea party. Oh, no! Almost forgot. I designed fashion collars for all the puppies. Brought one of them to show you. Uh, got it here someplace. Oh, chiffon? <laughs> 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 The girls are going to be so surprised when they see these tea party hats. <laughs> An orange for orange's hat. <laughs> what is it, girl? I don't have time to play outside right now. I have to finish these hats. Treats ready, and then you can come in to your very own dog park. <laughs> Be right back. Wow! Ooh, I like that. Oh, gee, amazing! Ooh. <gasps> Are very beautiful. I love mine. Nice work, Raspberry. 
the Berry Bitty City Dog Park is officially open. Uh, what's wrong? Pupcake? Chiffon? Scouty? Pitter Patch? Come on, Cinepup. Come in. See your doggy park? Lots of treats. Come on. What's wrong? Why don't they like the dog park? It's almost as if they were afraid of something. Oh, what's in here to be afraid of? I don't think they're afraid. I think they're hungry. I can tell when Cinepup has that give-me-treats look in her eye. I don't know. I wouldn't call it a give-me-treats look. More like a I-don't-want-to-go-in-there look. Trust me, I know exactly how to get them to come in. <laughs> and get it. <laughs> 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 There's nothing scary about my ice sculpture. It's... it's... It's melting. And if we don't figure out what's bothering the dogs, by the time our tea party gets started, your ice sculpture's gonna be slushing around in a bucket. Okay, now, let's not jump to conclusions. No need to jump. The answer is staring us right in the face. Or should I say, in the nose. Nose? Uh... Lemon, what are you talking about? Close your eyes and take a sniff. What do you smell? Freshly mowed lawn. Flowers. Exactly. Boring! A dog lives by his nose. And to a dog's nose, this park is just one big yawn. Fortunately, I have the perfect solution. I'll be right back. What is that? <gasps> My very big super sensational scent dispenser. I've been working on it for weeks. Was gonna have its grand debut in my salon, but now's as good a time as any. It sniffs the air and automatically calculates the right amount of scent that should be sprayed to make everything smell perfectly sensational. There, see? It says this place needs a whiff of raspberry and just a smidgen of cherry. Hmm, too much raspberry, I think. Hey, still working out the bugs, you know. Oh, what's wrong? Need some help? Oh, thanks, Orange. Here, let me help. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. uh -oh. Lemon, what's wrong with it? Huh? I don't know. Oh, uh, Lemon. Can you shut it off? I don't know how. Oh, uh -huh. oh, yeah! 
Well, at least everything smells nice. I'm sure the puppies will like it. So much for the boring scent theory. Well, I huh? thought it would work. I mean, if you were a dog, you... If I were a dog, right about now, I'd be asking, what am I doing in a people park? People hmm. park? Yep. Look at this park through a dog's eyes. What does he see? People. Having a people party with people food. If we want the dogs to come into the park, we have to convince them that it's a dog park. Huh? Hmm. Oh, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Here's the ball. Here's the ball. And fetch it. <laughs> Uh, not in your hand. That's a people thing. Dogs catch toys in their mouths. My mouth? Ew! I don't know where this thing's been. They're watching. Oh. 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 <sighs> okay. Well, give it a try. That's it. Fetch the ball. There you go. Yeah. Go get it, girl. Go get it. I feel so silly. Me too. But it might be working. That's it. Come on in. Come and play. Come get him. It's working. Come on in. Come and play. Hmm. So much for your doggy toy squeaky ball theory thing. Well, do you have any ideas? Well, yeah, of course. So, let's hear it. Hear it? Well, naturally, it's not something you hear. It's something you... See, I mean, just oh, look. Look at what? All the green. Green, 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 green. And oh, did I mention green? To a dog, that is artistically, stylistically, designerly unacceptable. Okay, hold on a moment. I've never heard anything about dogs not liking too much green. <sighs> Just look at my poor chiffon. See? Artistically deprived. She doesn't look deprived to me. She looks scared of something. I know my chiffon, and I can prove it. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, Becky, does everyone understand what we need to do? Well, Raspberry, I think so. Just paint everything with the food color I've selected. Should take more than a few moments. This is going to be artistically phenomenal. Fantastical. Oh, Chiffon's gonna love it. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. All right, crew, let's get to work. I mean, overdone. I mean, done. The painting, that is. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see it. Uh... <laughs> 
it's too... too... beautiful. It is? This is art. Oh, this will be on the cover of every fashion magazine in Berry Big City. This will rock the design world on its heels. We're here. The puppies are here. Let the tea party begin. It. They're scared of it. Only one way to bring them back. Get rid of it. <laughs> the dog park is ruined. You mean saved? Uh, hold on, hold on. All of your ideas have been very good ones. Doesn't mean they're right. True. But let's respect each other's opinions. I think it's been kind of fun hearing everyone's theories and trying them out. Eventually, we'll get to the bottom of this mystery. <laughs> <laughs> this is truly a mystery I cannot solve. Wish I had some kind of clue. Me too. Well, anyone have any more opinions about what could be scaring the pup? <laughs> 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 where they landed. It is where they landed. Look! The puppies took our hats? The trail heads off that <gasps> way. Is that what I think it is? This is very strange. The puppies tried to hide our hats? That's certainly what it looks like. But why? Don't look at me. I'm fresh out of theories. Me too. They took off that way. Come on, girls. <laughs> a very big idea. Why did you take our hats? They're afraid of our hats? No! That's impossible! Not... No, it can't be! <gasps> Look! <gasps> to the puppies, the hats look like scary faces. Incredible! That's the last thing I would have guessed was keeping the puppies from coming in. Looks like we all jumped to conclusions. <gasps> You're right. I should have paid more attention to what Chiffon was trying to tell me. <laughs> what is it, girl? I don't have time to play outside right now. I have to finish these hats. <laughs> She didn't want to go outside. She was afraid. But I was so busy I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm sorry. Same here. Hey, me too. So am I. What about the pups? I think I know what to do. <gasps> Chiffon, look. See? No more scary face. <laughs> Is it okay? Huh? Okay now? I think this dog park is now officially open. <laughs> oh. <laughs>
should do this tomorrow with the rest of the girls. Yeah. So peaceful, so quiet, so... Ah! <laughs> oh, huh? Rose! Oh, Orange, oh! what's wrong? Some, something touched my foot! An eel! A sea monster! Maybe just a water plant, huh? Kinda cute. Kinda? Aren't those the cutest, fattest, most adorable cheeks you've ever seen? Aw, hey little guy, hey sweetie. Hi there. Don't be scared, are you all by yourself? You're too little to be all alone. Oh, poor little guy. Oh, I'm sure he's fine and, uh, what are you doing? I'm taking him home. But someone's got to take care of them. Poor little guy. All alone in the big world. Come here, little guy. Orange, wait. We... Come on, little... What? You could trust me. Yeah, I won't hurt you. Huh? Hey. Orange, listen for a sec, okay? I'm listening, I'm listening, but <laughs> he's going to get away. <laughs> hey, that I just asked that you consider something. He might be cute and little now, but he's going to grow. And then he might be harder to take care of. You are most <laughs> you are most likely right, Strawberry. But you always say, even though we're bitty, we're capable of big <laughs> things. <laughs> I mean, someone's got to take care of him. <laughs> hey, where is he? Look, you see? He wants to come home with me. I think I'll name you... Butch. Butch? He looks like a butch. He looks like trouble. Cute as he is. But it's up to you, Orange. Aw, oh, come on, Strawberry. Don't you trust me? Of course, but... Well, I'm gonna prove it to you. I'm gonna take better care of this fish than any fish has ever been taken care of before. I'm going to feed you and read to you every night. Oh, I can't wait to read you my favorite stories. And we'll give you a beautiful home where you'll be safe and warm. Oh, I mean cool. <laughs> Just wait till you see. You're going to love it there. What's his name? Stuart. Isn't that the cutest name you ever heard for a fish? Stuart? Where is he, Orange? Oh, look! He's super cute! Hi, Lemon! Hello, Plum! Hi, Raspberry! Hi, Lemon! Oh, what a doll! Where's your fish? You can eat him fish! Or mush! I swish! His name is Todd. I thought it was Stuart. <laughs> Catchy and cute. And dignified to boot. And look what I taught him to do. Strawberry. I have one with pictures. Oh, I love the ones with pictures. Blueberry? Oh, hi, Strawberry. I uh, seen Blueberry. I'm right here. Emergency. Todd's sick. I, I need books on fish care, fish diseases, fish cures, fish medicine. Oh, no. What's wrong with him? 
List the symptoms, please. Well, he has growths. Ugh. Oh, hi. I'm so sorry. Where did I go wrong? I've tried to give him everything a fish needs. I know you have. Everything a fish could want. I know you did. Everything a fish... He's not a fish. <gasps> He's a tadpole. A... Uh, a tadpole? What's that? A baby. Frog. <gasps> Todd is a fish! He's a frog. Todd's a frog? Well, he will be. Soon. He'll grow arms and legs and lose his tail. This process is called metamorphosis. So, um... So, at least he's not sick. But it might be best to take him back to the stream, huh? What? I, I can't do that. I, I promise to take care of him. But that's when you thought he was a fish. It's just that, well, isn't a frog more than you bargained for? I am not going to turn my back on him just because he switched species. He, Tad, can't help it if he's a frog. Okay, ready? And lift! <laughs> there, that's the front panel. Front panel of what, Raspberry? Oh, I didn't show you. You didn't see? Well, here, come here, come over here. <laughs> this is great. I know, I know, you don't have the words. Um, fabulous, maybe? Inspired, tremendous, cutting edge. <laughs> See, um, Orange appointed me fashion designer. I'm designing all the outfits for her and Tad. See, next week, she'll ride him in a dressage and jumping show with both of them sporting Raspberry's Frog Forward Fashions. <laughs> Orange says it'll be great publicity. You know, I'll probably, most likely, well, hopefully, well, maybe, you know, have, a, have my own pet apparel line in stores by next fall. Uh-huh. Please, still. I can't tie the bowl if you huh? behave. Oh, no, we do not drink the shampoo. Oh, now, please. <gasps> Quick, close the door. We'll get loose. Orange thinks I'll do great business if I branch out into pet grooming. Huh? huh? And now, some cologne. He's kind of stinky. All right, wait a minute. Oh no! Catch him! Dad? I'm sorry, Orange. He looked perfectly adorable. Then something scared him. Maybe he doesn't like Berrylicious lavender. Maybe the bow's too girly for him. Maybe he doesn't like the color. Or maybe frogs don't wear bows. Huh? Orange, it's just that I don't think frogs are supposed to be washed or dressed up. Maybe it would be best to let him go in the wild. Out there? All alone? Oh, no, 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 no. He, he's much better off with me. Um, come on, Dad. <laughs> Uh, thanks, Lemon. Uh, I'll bring him back tomorrow, okay? I'll have a talk with him. He'll be better behaved. Uh, I promise. Can't wait. What is that? I promise, it's not my stomach. We believe you. I have a feeling I know just what it might be. Oh no, Tad doing his night croaking. How can we do our night sleeping? Maybe the croaking is just a stage and he'll grow out of it. That'll probably be the only thing he doesn't grow out of. Where's Orange? She turned in early. She was tired from chasing Tad around. Come on, girls. Let's think of a way to get him to go to sleep. Uh, hot milk. No, not that. Uh, a blanket. No, never mind. Hmm. Oh, a, a lullaby? Uh, no. Wait, what was that? Uh, 
a lullaby? Sing a lullaby to a frog. I like it. Good idea. Close your eyes, little frog. Time to please stop your croaking. Pleasant dreams, little frog. Won't you finally go to sleep? Huh? Who? What? Is he? Five minutes? It's been more like five hours. I wonder where she could be. Ugh, I need to get some light bulbs for my reading lamps. Still closed, huh? She was closed yesterday, too. I want to paint this beautiful tulip in the meadow, but I'm out of brushes. Well, I guess I'll just have to make a sculpture of the tulip instead. I wish you could sculpt me a light bulb. <laughs> having to hop too much. Orange! What are you doing? Building a swimming pool for Tad. Isn't it great? Orange, um, promise to let me use it to teach water ballet classes if I help dig. <gasps> <laughs> well, I gotta admit, Orange, you're sure giving him the best. Everything he needs. <laughs> Mrs. Drewberry came home and discovered the kittens had unraveled her yarn. Oh, excuse me. Strawberry's Cafe, hope you're having a very nice day. Strawberry speaking. Oh, my. Yes, right away, Princess Berrykin. I just turned around and see what I found? Our berry juice ruined! I'm very sorry, Princess. I'll talk to Orange. Thank you, Strawberry. And a graceful lift with the left arm. Uh. Please, everyone. This is water ballet, not wood chopping. <laughs> <laughs> and now, everyone, with grace and style, I'd like you to <gasps> look out! Yeah, I think. Uh -huh. Oh, Strawberry! Orange promised to let me use this pool, but every class gets interrupted by Tad. I'll talk to her. I promise. I can't tell you, it, it's it's... What is it, Raspberry? What's happened? I'm upset! I can see that you are. What upset you? It's all my work! My sewing and stitching and your frog-forward fashions. Let me guess, Tad didn't like them. No! He loved them so much, he ate them! My goodness! And all Orange said was, he's just a frog. He didn't know what he was doing. That doesn't sound like the Orange we know. No, it sounds like the orange who's got a pet that's become more important to her than than manners. I'll talk to her. Strawberry! Orange, what's the matter? It's Tad! He's, he's gone! Now don't worry. Everyone's out looking. I'm sure the Berrykins will find him any minute now. He couldn't have gone very far. I did everything I could for him. I kept him cool when he was hot, warm when he was cold, bathed him, sheltered him, rented him. No frog has ever been so loved, and, and, and now he ran away. Huh? Orange, I found your pet. 
it! <gasps> Look! Right there! There, there he is! Yeah. Todd! What are you doing up there? You come down here this instant! <laughs> now he's asleep. <laughs> I'll wake him up! <laughs> um, I don't think that's such a good idea. Hello! Wake up, Froggy! Oh, gee. Everyone knows you to be so kind and considerate. But I think maybe you've been trying to be so kind and considerate to Tad that you've forgotten about everyone else. But you guys are my friends. My very best friends. I could never forget you. What I mean is, Tad has caused a bit of trouble and... But he doesn't know any better. Exactly. I think being responsible for a pet means taking responsibility for any trouble he causes. Because the pet really doesn't know any better. I know. I need to do a better job of being responsible for Tad. I'm doing everything I can think of. I, I don't know what else to do. Well, maybe the best way to care for Tad is to not care for Tad. What do you mean? Orange? I just don't know if Tad belongs here. Oh, Strawberry, please give him, I mean me, another chance. I promise he'll never be any trouble to anyone in Berry Beauty City again. But how? You'll see. I'll, I'll train him. You said even though we're bitty, we're capable of big things. And I know I can do this. I won't turn my back on my responsibility to Tad. Well... I've never seen it so neat and tidy in here before. I wanted to do something nice to make it up to you for Tad eating the fashions. Thank you, Orange. Really? It's all mine? I promise Tad will never bother your classes again. Thank you, Orange. I'm hoping the Berrykins will accept some frog rides to make up for all the trouble we caused. Oh, well... <laughs> Not having much fun, huh, big guy? Yeah. Oh, hi, Strawberry. Hi, Orange. I came to tell you everyone is so pleased about how you apologized for Tad's troubles. <laughs> Everything is back to normal in Berry Bitty City. Oh, that's good. I know it's been difficult, but I know if it meant doing the right thing for Tad, you could do something even more difficult. Of course, I'd do anything for Tad. What is it? That's more difficult than all the things I've done so far. I mean, those were big things. What's bigger than that? Letting him go. Oh, Strawberry. Sometimes the very biggest things we have to do are the things we can't even see. There it is. Do you think he's going to think I don't love him? Oh, I'm worried he'll never get over it. Oh, Tad, I know this is difficult. Try to be strong. <gasps> he didn't even say goodbye. 
But did you see how happy he was? Yeah, you're right. He wasn't just happy. He was the happiest I've ever seen him. Oh, and that makes me happy too. How about a picnic? I think that is a very good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I just think for the grand opening of the marketplace, we need some grand entertainment. Oh, and not just grand, very grand. I got it. We could give a dance recital. Ugh. Oh. I got it. We could juggle. Huh. I mean something big, something everyone will come to see. Something with star power. You want a big star? Get cherry jam. Everybody else's. Only the biggest superstar in the whole very bitty world. Hey, why don't we ask her? Ask her what? To sing at the grand opening. Oh, come on. I was just kidding. Yeah, why would the world's biggest music star want to sing for us? I don't know, but could it hurt to ask? So, won't you please consider our request. Signed, your most adoring fan. Incredibly adoring. Incredibly adoring fan, Blueberry Muffin. Well, looks all right to me. Then here it goes. I can't believe I just emailed Cherry Jam. If she even reads it, the biggest music star in the whole world is going to come all the way to Berry Bitty City and perform for us? I don't think so. Yeah, Raspberry's right. She probably gets a million emails a day. Why would she answer ours? You guys are not going to believe this. See the real person in you. Uh, 
When they see the real friendship in you. When they see the real star shine in you. Oh, I'll never find the right ending. When they hear the real music in you. That's it! Sorry, I heard you singing and, well, the words just kind of came to me. Am I ever glad they did? Thank you. It's perfect. Would it be okay if I used your words in my song? Of course. I'm Strawberry. Hi, Strawberry. This is Pupcake and Custard. Oh, so cute. And what's your name? Uh... Buttercup. Nice to meet you, Buttercup. Are you... Do you smell cherry blossoms? Oh, um, no. <laughs> I don't smell anything except strawberries. Uh, you were asking? Oh, uh, yes. I, I was going to ask if you're out here alone. Uh-huh. Just sort of driving through, and I've always wanted to have a picnic. You've never had a picnic before? Uh, well, no. Well, I'll let you enjoy. It was nice to meet you, Buttercup. Nice meeting you, too. Thank you for your help. Sure. Come on, guys. Back to the harvest. <laughs> Just like I hoped it would be. Cheers! <laughs> the Cherry Jam Fan Club would like to extend a very big welcome to you and your entire entourage. <laughs> My entourage? You know, the people who go everywhere with you and wait on you hand and foot. Well, I kind of thought it'd be fun to kind of get away and come here on my own. I don't have an entourage with me. You do now! Uh, about Strawberry. Oh, shush. We're keeping you a secret until tomorrow. Come park over here. Here she comes! <laughs> Make very for Bitty Cherry Jam! Jam. For real, Cherry Jam wants me to call her by her first name? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just try to think of me as one of you. Excuse me, but why the sleeping bag? We thought you always sleep in your fabulous tour bus when you're away from home. Not this time. I was looking forward to, you know, sleeping under the stars. Huh? You mean, like a camp out? Exactly. A camp out. Oh, do we have the perfect camping spot for you? Uh, yeah, that's right. Just stay right here. Uh, relax, and we'll get it all ready for you. Yeah, let's go, girls. Oh, you're gonna love it! Why did you tell her that? We can't let her camp out. You know what she's used to? Five-star luxury. Six-star. If we let her sleep in some old sleeping bag, she'll never want to come back again. So, here's the plan. Okay, do you guys remember the article? Now, it's really not much. Probably not what you're used to. We hope it's comfortable enough for a star. A star of super magnitude. That means really, really big. Well, what do you think? It is really big, isn't it? Don't you want to see the inside? <laughs> of course. We copied your bedroom from your article. Bedroom of a star in very big glitz and glamour. Everything you have when you're at home has been duplicated here. Well, probably not exactly, but we did our best. <laughs> Thank you. It's very thoughtful of you. This is a camp out fit for a star. That's what my managers and my agents and my entourage would say. Ooh, her entourage! Well, 
see you in the morning. <sighs> wow, just what I'd hoped for. Miss Jam? Cherry! Cherry? We brought you a little midnight snack. Cherry? Where could she be? <gasps> oh, no. Look! I guess she didn't like it. She didn't like it so much. She'd rather sleep outside. <sighs> we had our chance, and we failed. you to give the grand opening's guest star some information first. Guest star? Huh? Surprise! <laughs> Presenting... Cherry Jam! Your cherry jam? But you... you... <laughs> so that's why I smelled cherry blossoms when I first met you. Wow, you girls planned this? Oh, thank you. Our pleasure. <laughs> Here, quick! You don't want her to think we're just plain boring girls, do you? Well, we'll leave you to plan the grand opening. We have something we have to do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow! Well, um, here, please, sit down, Buttercup. Um, Miss Jam? Oh, no. Please, call me Cherry. I'm sorry, Strawberry. I didn't want to give away the surprise. <laughs> I understand. I probably wouldn't have believed you anyway. You look quite different in person. I just dress that way because it's what my fans want. Well, I'm a fan of yours. Oh. But I'm also a fan of people dressing how they like. And I like the way you look right now. And I like that. I'm sorry, <laughs> but it's not really me. Not really me, either. But don't tell. I won't tell a soul. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Mmm, that was the best sandwich I've ever had. Thanks. But you must have had better ones in Big Berry City. Nope. The best part, too, is being able to just relax without people snapping pictures of me. It's so nice here. Well, can I show you where you're going to perform? Actually, the girls promised to take me out where I can do something I've always wanted to do. Something I never could do in the city with people following me everywhere. What's that? <sighs> take a walk all by myself and pick flowers. Oh, yes! Those big hothouse roses are your favorite! I read about it in Very Big Glitz and Glamour magazine. That's something my publicist made up. My real favorite flowers are buttercups. Hmm, uh... <laughs> of course. Does she like them? No. Aww. She doesn't like our flowers, either. She doesn't like them so much. She'd rather settle for ordinary wildflowers. We had our chance, and we failed. Better make sure I can find my way back. If we can't do something to impress her, she'll never come back. Hey! Remember that article in Glitz and Glamour that said her favorite thing to do was have a boomberry pie party? Let's make her one that goes off like fireworks! Good idea. That's sure to leave an incredible impression. Come on, let's go to the cafe and start baking! Oh, she didn't even like the ones she picked. She ripped them up. Nothing's good enough for her. Come on, Orange. Yeah, come on! Yeah, 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 <laughs> Which path 
did I take? Hello? Help? Anyone? Hello? Hello? Thank you, Cupcake, for rescuing me. I just lost my voice hollering for help. A Boomberry Pie Party? Oh no! They can't know that I've lost my voice. They'll be so let down if I can't sing for the grand opening. She doesn't like us so much. She didn't even come to her own Boomberry Pie Party. Refills? Anybody? If I have any more tea, I'm gonna float away. Maybe she didn't get our invitation? Maybe she's still in makeup? We better face facts. She knew it wouldn't be as good as she's used to, so she didn't bother. Well, should we? Might as well not let a perfectly good boomberry pie go to waste. <laughs> We put too many boomberries. Oh, failed again. Girls, the cherry jam you keep describing doesn't sound like the girl I met. We just wanted her to be our friend, for her to like us. <laughs> but I guess we're not special enough. I think I have some more towels over at the marketplace. I'll be right back. Disturb getting my superstar beauty rest? <laughs> Cherry, it's me, Strawberry. Can we talk a minute? <gasps> <laughs> so, I called all of you here this morning because Cherry needs your help. She does? Our help? What happened? Is she okay? Yesterday, she lost her voice. Oh, oh terrible! She's got most of it back, but still can't sing her high notes. So I'm to sing the high notes for her. And she wants you to be the musical and singing backup. Really? <gasps> we get to perform with Cherry Jam? Uh-huh. <laughs> There's something else she wants. Very important. She'd ask you herself, but she needs to rest her voice. Anything! Whatever you she name wants. anything for Cherry what Jam. What is it? Well, all she really wants is to be your friend. But she wants to know if you'll treat her like a friend, not a superstar. Oh. <laughs> My. We really haven't been acting like friends. We've been acting like Bands. Who can help me paint the podium? I will! Let's go! Yeah, where's Everybody, the paint? Let's, let's get going! Rush. Welcome to the Marketplace Grand Opening! <laughs> this could never have come together without all your help! And now, presenting for your musical enjoyment! <laughs> Cherry Jam and her friends!
Yeah.